What's up, people? Since the December 7th Throne and Liberty officially published on the Korean region, NCSoft first time ever added new weapons and new gear inside the game. So we have the new purple weapons, two weapons we have for each type of weapons, and we have two type of uh, additional sets with the set effect functions and those weapons and those sets are amazing. This video will be about the weapons because I did not want to make a big video. So you can check my other video on my channel and there you can find the uh, new set effect videos for the new sets. So before I start to talk about this video, I want you guys to ask you to subscribe my channel. I make Throne and Liberty content right now on Korean region. I make a lot of guidelines for the players who are waiting for the global release right now i have a uh, 78 videos for throne and liberty and on 49 guidelines for this game but once we get the global release trust me my channel will have way more guidelines which will be a lot more helpful and i have additional tips and tricks hidden videos which will be published at the global release and this one will be so helpful for my subscribers and guys if you're waiting for throne and liberty to the global market this channel will help you a lot okay let's get back on the main topic and let's see the weapons and let's see additional items inside the game so uh, these ones are craftable ones so you have to check them on the craft section and let's start with the great swords this is the great sword and we have two type of great sword this one and we have the this one the to craft them it's not harder i will show you how you can get those items uh, at the end of the video because uh, to get these items is the same way and i don't want to show you uh, how to get this item for each weapon so uh, you can find the how to get this item at the end of the video so let's check the weapon right now uh, let me take myself a bit here I think I looks better here and you can easily see this everything so this is the great sword it is the uh, gatekeepers a uh, hell's gate blade the name is awesome uh, it is so bad that we cannot see the visual if we don't have the actual uh, weapon on our hand this is so bad for this game let's check the stats for it so uh, these have additional function the range for this weapon is the three meters and attack speed is the point uh, 0 0.776 and the damage is kind of okay you know it's the diapason is not that uh, low but the, to compare the second one yes the min minimum damage is the high difference there is the, so uh, as a additional thing blazing a tornado it says that it gives you the 50 percent attack speed and 10 percent movement skill for the duration attack with certain fire bomb effect uh, for one burning if it's not equipped with the stuff so this is really good and additional settings like a wisdom uh, perception and stun chance is kind of good thing i think this weapon is uh, good for if you are taking like and stuff and if you're taking uh, like an wand combination right now and it's uh, highly depending on the dps side and the range is also good except for the second weapon uh, chief executive earthquake blade which have uh, kind of same the maximum damage but the minimum damage is the difference like and it's uh, 104 minimum damage and the judgment wave the skill uh, say that uh, kinds the crash attack the same location as the time instead of the moving forward last attack range 33 percent and the damage eight percent oh this is kind of nice and uh, this one is uh especially for the fighting combination like if you have the great sword uh, dagger or great sword bow and some kind of physical weapons i mean so let's get now to the swords and this is the thing and uh, this is the best one mostly this is the tire one but it is the best one yes this weapon is so awesome but it is so hard to get it i mean 
this weapon is extremely hard to get it uh, since it's depending on the world drop right now and uh, yes you have to be so much lucky and you have to spend a lot to get this weapon but this is the top and this is the second one which is um, which you can get it easy if you do the instances let's go to the sword here we have the first sword and here we have the second sword the damage between those swords is kind of same you know it is not a big difference and uh, the difference is mostly the range and still uh shield block chance yes this one have the 50 percent and this one have the 80 percent especially this uh this sword and shield uh is focused on again the kind of mage class i mean it, it, this one is the full tank if you take this one and if you take the wand it gives you the casting speed uh, that's why i'm talking about that yes this would be really really good for your combinations uh it's increasing in coming here 50 percent during the counter barrier you see so it means that uh, your wand heals will heal you way more and others can heal you way better too and uh, this one right now skill damage boost is more focused on the attackive state position chai hook additionally stack three enemies in two meter radius around the target yeah it's a bit more aggressive but sword and shield is uh, mostly the uh, tanking side of the uh, combination and there is not a big uh, state of the difference and this is the best one come on just check this out this is uh, the best one and again this needs this needs lucky to get it so yes this is the number one right now and this is the number two i mean the position number two's weapons so let's check to the doggers yes these doggers uh there is the kind of damage difference yes here we have the damage difference on the offhand weapon damage state and the um, offhand chance is also the high i mean this one have the high damage but this one have the high chance to um, make an offhand damage one and uh, this dagger is good combination for the moment once you have the staff dagger combination and that's the really good one if uh, if you are a group player of the staff and you have the staff da dagger combination, yes, your power is really up. I mean, the, your character will be really powerful at damage states. So the skill we have the Mortal Stigma, Fatal Straits range uh, by 600% of the attack range dam damage bonus 25%. So if you cast this skill, yes, your uh your range will increase and you have 25 percent of the damage bonus but uh, this one right now we have the uh frozen shield and every f uh first sword dance attack creates the that the demo deals 30 percent of the base damage of all the enemies in three metal radius area uh, this one goes like a physical combination uh, which i like uh kind of bow dagger and the best one the best dbs burning uh, combination is uh is a uh, crossbow dagger one i will make the video about that guys so and this is the legendary no 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 this one this one yes this one is amazing i mean this is super duper uh daggers yes this is the best one let's go to the crossbow uh, we have the crossbow uh situation for the crossbow awakening chance stamina regeneration is kind of same this is not for the mage combination one and the uh, crossbows the base damage for them are the same but the chance for the offhand one this is if you're focusing on the offhand chance this is really good but it's have it's also have a large distance than the normal one just the attack speed is also the high for this situation and you have additional crit wisdom and dexterity for this situation you are focusing on mostly of the 
uh, weakening chance uh, and the perceptions which is increasing your uh, CC combinations like a crowd control combinations and this one will help you a lot we have the skill wild barrier it's a uh, uh, barrier's chance to now attack the all the enemies with a three deep uh, what the fuck was that three degrees aha uh -huh. oh okay it's increasing the area of the degrees and uh, it's increasing the area of the damage right now so movement speed 20% during the skill so let's go to the second one it's have the night uh, pattern quick fire cooldown uh, it gives you the 40% minus cooldown while using the number up so this is also the good and this one is amazing one uh, the best one in uh, in the uh, crossbow sections and it's e it's easily to see even with the damage and uh, dexterity bonus damage and stamina regeneration yes this weapon is amazing let's go to the bow side right now and we have uh, two type of bows I'm looking for these bows since uh, since I am focusing on the staff bow combination and I really like these bows, it gives me the casting speed which is really good and this one is more focused on the uh, range bows. I mean, if you're crossbow, you are sometimes focused on the range and if you're focused on the range and even if in the staff, if you're staff mage which uh, is focusing on the range, this bow is also good for you. Uh, the different for these bows is the if range one is focusing more on the range and the uh, casting speed one is focusing on more the casting of the state and what this this means the shining moon attack speed six percent per friendly target uh, while the non blink blessings area effect duration three second nice and creative the area stream is reduce brutal arrow target location that deals 24 two percent base damage on every 0.5 second for five seconds so i don't think the bows are as uh, kind of amazing like in great sword or other things but bow itself is the soul killer for <laughs> yes yeah, so something like that and this one this one is this bow is not even harder to get you know it's uh to get the bow the top bow it's uh less harder than the other weapons in and throne and liberty so let's go to the stuff and we have two kind of stuffs now this stuff is more kind of um, pve i think yes I, I can say that that this stuff is kind of pve and this stuff is really nice stuff and it's focused on the it's focused on the pvp uh this one have the combination that binds the enemies with the forest the smoke and area for 0 0.2 second it's uh, when you cast your mage skill it's binds more enemies and this one is lighting spear in ice spear church then the lighting skill no longer decrease the movement speed attacking the target you have burned dealing additional damage 25 percent of the remaining burning damage damage is transferred over that the enemies in five meter radius this is really good i mean let me compare to my stuff wait let me change it let's go to the this and let's compare this this is mine and i have plus six right now i am focusing on the casting speed and yeah this this is really good it gives you wisdom applies five also so good and yes i really like this one and but i really like this one queen's Beladriel domination one i mean this stuff I don't know man this stuff is life for throne and liberty just check this out wisdom 7 critical hit 52 and casting speed you have the range 90.2 meter what the fuck man um if you ask me which is the best weapon in rare world boss drops because this is the world boss drop and a lot of people are fighting to get this one the stuff the stuff is uh, the best one and the most powerful one i love this i will have this on the global release i, f I don't fucking care i will i will have this stuff and the wand we have a kind of wands 
like and sleeping chance wisdom and mana this is for pv i think it looks like a pv wand uh, and this one is more pvp wand and i think this is for good for the players who want to get the control from the wand and it's have really nice range 80.2 uh, meters and yes this is really good man this old stuff is amazing that was the weapons guys you can check it if you play you already check it but if you don't play and watching this video this was the new updates for the weapons in throne and liberty oh my god this is really good and now let's see how to get this dimension essence uh, to get this we need to go to the dungeon section uh, to go this wind and you see here uh, we have the dungeon sections right now and each type of dungeons these ones uh, on the basic and challenging level ones have exactly the same itself dungeon uh, shard these ones give you the chronix one these ones give you the shwarical one and these ones give you the chimeros one and others give you the same and this one right now gives you the kertaki one and this one gives you the shakurax one so these stuffs you can use for craft your uh craft your armor parts it's need it's need a lot you know it's not easy to get it so uh but those bosses are have chance to drop this one so if you're not lucky to get this one then yes you can uh get those ones and to get these items from this section uh like an for myself the wand one you need to go to this section to get the this this desire desire one and you need 20 wait a second let's find it here it's have to be here uh, yes and you need to have 20 all those instances you see the Turaka Shakura and others and you can get one of these and this not even harder you know 20 is not even the big deal right now so that was that guys this was about the weapons uh and you can check uh, the video about the armors armors are uh, amazing also uh you can subscribe my channel yeah you have you have to hit the like button if you like this video and yes subscribe the channel as you see i have a lot of guidelines for this game if you're really interested uh, to play this game on the global market and we have huge release for throne and liberty at the global market and subscribe the channel follow me i my videos will be a lot more helpful for you i will uh, capture more guidelines for you guys and as always see you in that next video